if you're involved in an automobile accident that you didn't cause, how much money you get is most related to how much medical treatment you get, and here you go, how much did that treatment cost? Because pain and suffering is often calculated as a multiplier on the amount of medical damages that you incur as a result of the automobile accident. So the amount of money that your case is worth depends on where you go to the doctor, how much those doctors charge, what kind of treatments you get. If you have a public plan that reimburses the hospital almost nothing, that reimburses the ambulance almost nothing, that pays treating physician almost nothing, expect that to translate into a smaller settlement for your automobile accident, even if you're very, very injured. And one way that people get around this problem is they hire a lawyer, they go and they see medical doctors on a lien. These private doctors bill full cash bills, and then they go to the insurance carrier and they say, hey, I have these big, huge bills, and I want them all paid. And in addition to that, I want pain and suffering on those medical specials. So if you've been involved in an automobile accident and you didn't cause it and you're wondering how to increase the amount of your settlement to get more out of that case, consider hiring a lawyer, hiring private doctors on a lean basis, get those cash bills rather than going through your public insurance plan or even your private insurance plan, which will negotiate with the providers, provide a reduced amount of medical special damages it's going to translate into a smaller settlement. Now, if you want to know all the ins and outs about what to do after an automobile accident, how to increase the amount of your settlement, you need to check out my auto accident playbook, which is a playlist right here on YouTube. It's going to pop up right here. Watch all of the videos, become an expert at what to do after an automobile accident to maximize the value of your case.